All right, I'm hearing the little chime to indicate that I am going live here and recording. So um, it is 8.33, and I did have one student say they would be late, but I'm not sure if they're actually coming or not, and I don't want to say their name here, just in case. Uh, but because I'll be reported, posting this recording up on YouTube. But um, again, my name is Mr. Hendley, H-E-N-D-L-E-Y. I'm starting to teach the Go, Go Granville Online astronomy. And um, definitely want to try to develop this a little bit more. But unfortunately, it's, it's on the back burner of everything I've got going on in my life right now. This is one of the least important things. And if my connection is a little bit weird, it's because I'm currently transferring files off an SD card for storage which of course I'm using my computer to do it because they're going straight to my NAS, my network attached storage. And I'm also uploading a video to my YouTube as a private video because I um, want to, I had a issue, I had a car issue last Friday where for the first time ever I had a windshield crack. And um, I mean, it wasn't like a huge crack. It was a little bitty crack and then it grew and then it grew a little bit more, but I don't know why. I'm not sure what it is. So I'm just, I've, I've got, luckily I run a dash cam. And so I'm saving that footage for my prosperity, for, my, for me to be able to go back and look and say, what in the world happened? Um, now, granted, the dash cam's not focused on that part of the window because it was at the very edge where it happened. I wasn't riding behind a car too closely. It wasn't like I was behind a cement truck or something like that. I, I don't know. It's one of those weird things in life. <clears throat> Maybe I had the wrong energy going on that day. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to um, meet with the astronomy class and try to go over some things. I did have a question today about one of the assignments. So let's look at the course and let's look at that. Now, I, again, we have been going through some crazy first three weeks of school here. Uh, most schools, this is their first week. This is our third week. And the first week doesn't even really count because we were trying to get everybody into Canvas and we were trying to get everybody into Infinite Campus and we're trying to get Infinite Campus to talk to Canvas. It, it, it's been it's been crazy. It's been a nightmare and I appreciate your patience with us. Luckily, um, with astronomy, I don't think it's that intensive of a course to have that. So um, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. And um, I'm going to warn you, um, I'm on a 4K monitor, so this is probably going to be a bit big. So we're going to do that screen. I actually run three monitors right here because um, I'm at home. And uh, we're going to share my screen here. So I've got Infinity Mirror, which we don't want. So let's go over here to this so I can kind of see what I'm showing you. If I move me around, does this, I don't, I'm wondering if this moves me around on the recording. Possibly. I don't know. But you can see over here on the right, I've got a ton of stuff to grade and get back to y'all. And I apologize. I, I, pref this is not how I like to run. I'm usually running a few days behind on Granville Online grades, in all honesty. But I am way behind. And I'm hoping with the three day weekend that I'm going to really catch up. So that's, that's my intention there. And um, again, my office hours, I, I kind of like the idea of maybe having like Wednesday after school and then Thursday nights and just alternating. And that way, maybe if one of those works better for you, it does. And if it other, doesn't, then don't. Let me know what works for you if you really have a preference. There's no requirement for me currently that you have to show up for any of these because I sometimes wonder if those the powers that be are going to change that. And if they do, then it's all outside of all of our hands. But um, for the course information, you should go start here, of course, um, start there. And it says weekly article, but there, there's like four of them. So it's basically one a month, more or less. Two for the first nine weeks, two for the second nine weeks. We'll do four and call it there. That, that's, that's fine. Um, you can go ahead and do the first one. That's due next Friday. If you do it after next Friday, I'll still take it. It is what it is. Um, you can see a couple things that y'all normally can't see here because I don't have these published because you don't need access to that stuff. Plus, you don't need all this stuff as well, so we're not really worried about all that. Uh, but I did want to look at uh, 1.1, so reaction to the sky. Um, y'all should be able to do the Ed puzzle should be working. It should be synced in. And if it's you're having any issues with that, please, please, please let me know because sometimes Ed puzzle doesn't work right, and I don't like it when it does. 
early astronomers, one of my face to face students who actually happens to be in this class pointed out to me that the assignment said Hawking's instead of Hawking. It's it's Hawking. So I've changed that. But your copy of it may not say Hawking. Um, so let's look down. We have an Ed puzzle here, and that's what the EP stands for. It's just, hey, it's an Ed puzzle. And again, 1.2, I want it to go along with what we have here. 1.2 EP, Ed Puzzle, powers of 10, and then size and scale. I think this is just very useful to know about. And then we have Kepler's laws, and then we have Newton's second law, because you need to know a little bit about Newton's second law. Now, this is a CK12 assignment, and this is the one that I wanted to preview with you today. So I'm going to view this as a student, so it'll change out things a little bit. Sorry, my phone is chiming, and... I'm not sure which email it is. It's like it's in, it's not, I don't know, my Gmail does not always work right because it's, it's basically an email I sent myself to remind myself about some things that I need to do tonight before I can go to bed um, in preparation for tomorrow. But anyway, uh, load CK12. Uh, cry me a river, right, Mr. Henley? Y'all probably don't even get that reference. So let me pull this up just a little bit. Uh, so we down have, so when you do this, when you're done, you're going to click turn in. And that's your way of telling Canvas, hey, I'm done with this. This is the grade that I want. And did I do this already? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I might have done this last week. I honestly can't remember. My mind is so stretched thin. It's crazy. But it asks, how confident are you on this topic? And um, I feel moderately confident about it. And it tells, it tells me about what this stuff is. So it says, when a bat strikes a ball, the force exerted can send the bat backwards. This is an example of which law of motion? Um, that is going to be for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So it should be the third law. And it is. Newton's second law states that the force of an object equals the for net force divided by the object's what? So it's going to be its mass. I'm going to type that in. According to Newton's second law of motion, if the net force acting on an object doubles, then the object's what will also double? Well, it says if the force acting on an object, then the object's mass? Well, probably not the mass will double. We're assuming a constant mass. It's going to be probably the acceleration. Oh, look at that. I'm doing pretty good tonight. <laughs> this isn't normally like me. Um, well, usually it is actually like me, but I've been hitting hard. It's been rough the last few weeks. Greater the force is applied, the more the object will accelerate. That is true. Newton's second law of motion is force equals mass times acceleration. Um, so in this, so net, net force equals acceleration over mass. No, it's not velocity. Um, so F equals MA. And this is where, let me go over to my fig jam real quick. So F Actually, that is completely wrong. So how do I clear this? There's probably a button down here that I can't see. I can control all and just delete. So F equals MA. So there's always this very useful triangle that you can draw. And I always like to look at the side that has more than one thing, which is M times A, and F goes up top. So if I go back to that question, um, acceleration, whoops, infinity mirror, sorry. Acceleration would be equal to force over mass. Force over mass, that's actually right, so we're good. Oh, and my recording from the previous me meeting just came in. But you want to keep doing this, <coughs> excuse me, until you're done. And let's say I wanted to stop for now, and I'm like, you know what? I'm good with 50%. I only want to get a 50%. I don't want to do any better. At that point, then, I would tell it to turn it in, and it would go into um, Canvas as a grade in that case. So when I go back over here to Canvas, I'm going to refresh my screen. And in theory, look at that. I have, I got 5 out of 10, so I got 25 out of 50. I got a half, I got a half grade. Um, and you can go back and do this again you know, and, and finish it off. It is what it is. I don't have too many CK12 assignments for y'all. I actually would like to do a few more of them because they're pretty simple. They're pretty easy. And they're not too difficult for y'all to have happen, basically. Um, so there's that.
So once you've done that, then you'll go on to 1.4 notes, which is RA slash declination and zenith. And um, this link still work. It does. Uh, the sky live. So you can see all this cool information about different planets and see where they are. And there's a video here that talks about the basics of astronomy and what the celestial sphere is. And when you're done, you click next and it'll take you to the assignment, probably an assignment. Not everything has an assignment. And I apologize. My phone is always loads. This is an Ed puzzle. So you would go through and do the Ed puzzle. And once you're done with that, see, I got to scroll down. I click next. That would get me to the astronomy unit one exam. And the unit one exam is um, due on next Friday, September 6th, but you can do it after that. There's no limit on it um, in that case. So you can go through and do it. It is intended as a one and done. You do it once and you are should be done with it, I believe is the way it is set up. Um, and if you have any questions, by all means, please ask me beforehand. Actually, what I probably need to do now that I'm looking at this is I probably need to give you a review assignment. I usually like to do that, but look, I've got, apparently one of y'all has been, one of y'all has been very judicious and you went ahead and got, went in there and got that exam done. So I need to go in there and fix that. Notice that um, after that, we have September 11th and 10th and 16th. Wow, I got to change some of those due dates. They're kind of all over the place, aren't they? I don't know why I have those. There's another CK12 assignment. 18, 19, 20, 23, 24, 25, 27, then October 1st, 2nd, October 1st, 2nd, October 3rd, 4th, 4th, 7th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. And that's basically the end of the first quarter. And then the next one is the 15th, the 15th, the 15th, the 15th. It was everything the 15th. I don't want everything to do the same day. I'll I'll stretch that out. And again, folks, if you miss, if you miss a due date, you know, yeah, it's going to mark it late, but there's no penalty in my classes for a late assignment. Um, and then we have the 23rd. And no, I don't expect y'all to be done with Unit 5 by the end of the 23rd. Honestly, more like Thanksgiving. And then Unit 6 is very short. I would like to expand Unit 6 a little bit. Yeah, these, these dates are crazy. And then, of course, the final exam, I might move that one up a little bit because I'm not sure what date I'm supposed to have that. But yeah, I've got to go fix the other assignments. And then we got I got some old stuff that I need to go through and look. I do want to expand this course a little bit. And if there's something that you're really interested in that you don't know about, um, to be honest with you, I probably don't know either. But I'd be more than happy to learn about it and set that up and go in and try to find some things for you. I mean, you can probably do your own research better than I can. But um I'm really interested to see, I really want to see this course become very fleshed out, but astronomy is not my strong suit. It doesn't mean that it can't be, but it's just not my normal strong suit. Um, I'm more science. I love science fiction, but, you know, actual true astronomy um, is not my strong suit. I'm actually watching Three Body Problem on Netflix right now. I'm on episode two. I'm not very far into it, but um I don't know, it's kind of interesting to see some of the concepts there and um, see, see it also against the backdrop of the Chinese Communist Revolution because it kind of goes back and forth in time there. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'll sit around for a few minutes and see if anybody shows up and um, I'll see y'all next week. It's Thursday night, so I guess I'll see you Wednesday after school unless y'all tell me y'all want me to do something else. So, um, you know, um, let me know. That's that's what I'm here for. Um, I'm going to stop presenting and I'm going to go back to my stop sharing. Go back to this window here. And um, if you do watch this, you know, leave me a comment on YouTube, especially if you're a current student. Um, I'd like to know that this was not me just talking to myself. I do that enough as it is, but it's OK. I'm a Gemini. Which is a sign in the stars. Kind of fitting. In an ironic, not really way. Yeah. Anyway, I will see y'all next week. I hope. Let me stop recording.